We have talked about sensor parameters, and those were the wavelength or frequency or band. Um, those were polarizations, and last but not least, incidence angle. So now we look at the uh, surface parameters. What influences radar backscatter? First of all, let's talk about topography because many regions on our Earth's surface have quite relevant relief. And I use one of these wonderful uh, books, the uh, manuals, the three volumes uh, of the microwave thermal sensing. And I, I, use, I use one of these to show you what happens when we have topography. So imagine this is a mountain, and this is the incoming radar wave. Now look at this. If, it, if this radar wave hits the top of the mountain, the distance between the sensor, the antenna, and the top of the mountain in this example has exactly this length. But looking at the bottom of this mountain, you see that this distance is actually larger to the radar antenna than the top of the mountain. Since we create our radar images by the time signal, the time that the signal takes back to the antenna, we have a phenomenon which is called layover because the top of the mountain is nearer than the slope of the mountain and actually the bottom of the slope, which should occur in the image because it is nearer to near range earlier than the top of the mountain, but because of this temporal distance of the signals, we have a phenomenon where this slope is being imaged actually after the top of the mountain has been imaged or placed on a certain pixel. So this phenomenon is called layover, which is difficult to correct, but as you see, I can demonstrate this very easily with very easy equipment. So the geometry is understood as long as we know the height of the satellite and the incidence angle. Everything else, because we have the, the constant velocity of light, can be calculated. So it can be corrected. Now the next phenomena that we have is called foreshortening. That is happening if we have a distance to the slope and the antenna. So the range of the surface towards the antenna is always the same. As you can see now, we have always the same distance to the antenna. So what happens is that since all these signals are being reflected with the same distance, meaning the same time, this whole slope is being reduced to only, in the extreme case, to only one pixel or one line of pixels. This is called foreshortening. Another problem which is strange if you interpret radar images, but it can be corrected. It's very easy to understand what is happening. So the third phenomena we have to learn is radar shadow. And that is, of course, if the incidence angle is so large that here the radar wave hits the slope, we get a return, but it will never see the slope that is facing away from the radar antenna. So like sun illumination, you also have radiometric effects. The same thing is happening here. But again, so this is a phenomenon that occurs when you have very large incidence angles, you have shadow, and if you have steep incidence angles and you have high mountains, then you have a mixture of foreshortening and layover. So again, as long as you have a, an elevation model, a digital elevation model, you can reconstruct all these geometric errors that happen because of topography.